On today's video, I'm going to show you a burger that I've never seen before. It absolutely blew my mind. But even though it looked fantastic, does it taste as good as it looks? Well, we're about to find out, because this is how it was made. Everything starts off as a regular burger. And for this specific burger, if you want to give it a try, I highly recommend weighing your balls. Just aim it for about two and a half ounces each. And another thing you definitely want to do is make sure you make plenty. The more balls, the better. The next thing we want to do is to make a regular smash burger. And here's the deal. If you've never made a smash burger before, it's quite simple. You want to make sure that you get your griddle extremely hot. If not, you're already doing it wrong. Then place a parchment paper on top and immediately smash. Then you want to quickly season it with salt and pepper. And as soon as juice starts coming on the top, you know it's time to flip. As soon as you have done that, immediately put in some American cheese. Cover it up so that it can melt. Place one patty on top of the other. Obviously, don't forget to toast your buns. Because to build, it's pretty simple. Place both patties right on top of the toasted bun, followed by the top with a good amount of burger sauce. Now that is as simple as it gets. And it is delicious. Delicious. But to make this crazy burger, we're gonna have to take it up a notch. So I went ahead and made a bunch of these burgers. Exactly the same. As now, we gotta use our special ingredient. And that would be this. Corn flake cereal. You gotta make sure that this one is unsweetened. Because trust me, you don't want a sweet burger. The next thing to do is to go ahead and prepare the batter. And for that, I highly recommend using this. It's a tempura batter that comes all ready for you. You just wanna follow the instructions in the bag, mix that up real good, and to add some color, I went ahead and added some turmeric. Mix that up real good and there we have it. Now the next step is pretty straightforward. You gotta get your hamburgers fully cooked, then dunk it in the tempura batter, followed by the corn flakes. Make sure to add a generous amount. You really want them to stick nicely to the burger. As once done, take a look. They are now ready to be fried. Talking about that, you wanna do something that is called a flash fry. For that, I set the oil at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, everything is fully cooked, even the cereal. So don't do it for too long. If not, you're gonna burn it. Once you got a nice, beautiful golden brown color, it's done. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. Is this gonna be a good burger or is this a heart attack on a bun? Well, I can tell you one thing, friends. I cannot wait to find out if this is actually better than the burger that changed my life. Because now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. So let's do it. Before the tasting, I wanna give you guys a quick reminder that all of my products are now available at Walmart. We got the Burger Smasher, the one-of-a-kind griddle, the Mary container and the grill brush to keep your grill nice and clean. All products are exclusively available at every Walmart, also at walmart.com. But enough talking, now the taste test. All right, everybody, and here we got our beautiful burgers, gentlemen. What do you guys think, huh? That's a burger? Yeah, that's a burger. What kind of reaction is that? It doesn't look like a burger. It looked like something. Oh, I'm sorry, Guga. I didn't know that burgers look like this now. Yeah, man, it's a nice crusty burger. I mean, take a look at this crust. This is a burger. Yes. That is an experiment. No. <laughs> Straight up. You're right about that, that's for sure. Uh, so what this is, is just this and then deep fried with cornflakes. <laughs> Come on now, tell me that don't sound good. It does sound bad. It sounds bad. good, but it sounds super unhealthy. Oh, you're gonna have a, a burger and you want it to be healthy? I mean, this is- Are a, you serious? I, oh, okay, fair enough. I wanna know honest opinion if it's better than this one here or not. So for that reason, we'll begin here. Dig in. Cheers. 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 Yeah. I still love it. <laughs> that sauce is so good. There's no reason for you to mess this up, everybody. This is so easy to make, so delicious, go to. Leo is just laughing. I'm laughing because you say, it's so perfect, don't mess it up, and then what is that? <laughs> yeah. What true. is that? But to your point, this is an absolutely amazing burger, guys. Mm. The crispy edges, the cheese, the sauce, the soft, perfectly toasted buns. I mean, there is not a damn thing wrong about this burger. There's something to be said about Smash Burger. I mean, that's the whole reason you went off and made some tools just to make more. Having that thin patty with that crust is just too good. I had this before. We all had it. We still love it. Like, there's no tomorrow, but I cannot wait for that. Can we try that? I, I think I can wait for that. You can wait for that? You, damn, you're not excited to try it. Ooh, it looks weird. It what is that? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't smell Ooh. bad at all. This is uh, very crispy. Very crispy. You hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear a burger normally don't sound like that, everybody. <laughs> it doesn't sound like that, okay? I'm just worried about if it's gonna cut the roof of my mouth. So this is one of those burgers that we like to say, proceed with caution. With that being said, give me your honest opinion on this one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. 
Wow. Yo, that's amazing. Oh my God. That's good. That is amazing, everybody. I'm going for another bite. Wow. It's a mouthful of crunch. As soon as you start, it's just. That's a 10 out of 10. We'll highly recommend. Don't show this video to your doctor. At all. It's totally fine. You shouldn't do it all the time, but you should do it at least once. You gotta experience this here. I'm 10. What do you think? It's freaking delicious, is, is what I think. The outside is so crispy, so crunchy, but the inside is so juicy and cheesy and flavorful. I mean, I'm so blown away by the amount of flavor and texture that this has. It's crazy. What I like is that the bread actually smushes while you bite. So there's a little bit of softness. And then you still have that crunch right on the outside layer. So it's like soft, but crunchy. And then right on the inside, you got the gooey cheese. So good. This is so unique that I'm gonna say it. I don't care what you guys said, but it's actually better than this burger here because it's so different, everybody. Yeah. You shouldn't have it every day. It's obvious. But if you wanna experience something new, I highly recommend you give this a try. It's fantastic. And I'm sure you're gonna love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I don't care how unhealthy this is. I think I'm about to finish this whole thing. You're so f***ing delicious.